Greetings and welcome to Greater St. James AME Church. Today, we're celebrating 154 years. It's our church anniversary, and we certainly hope you will enjoy the worship experience today. We are so grateful for the foundation on which we stand. To God be the glory for the great things He has done. We bless God this morning for an awesome opportunity to come and to celebrate 154 years of worshiping God and serving God in this community. We thank God for this wonderful committee who does an excellent job in putting this together today. And we look forward to this celebration. We look forward to the choirs. We look forward to the word. But most of all, we look forward to the Holy Spirit coming in and doing what he does. And so as we move forward into this worship service, we want us to think about how God has brought us thus far. Surely we have not been here 154 years, but think about how God has brought you, how he's kept you, how he's blessed you, how he's covered you as we move into this service. And again, welcome to our 154 year celebration here at Greater St. James African Methodist Episcopal Church. Father, we thank you for this day, Father God. We thank you for all the many blessings that you bestowed upon our church on this 154th anniversary. Father God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for your undying love, dear God. We thank you for giving us the health, the strength, 
the power to sustain over these 154 years. Father God, we thank you for another prayer opportunity. We thank you for another worship opportunity. Father God, we thank you for all those that came before us that um, given us the strong foundation that we have today. Father God, we ask that you go with those who are sick and shut in. Father God, we ask you to go with those who are experiencing the symptoms of COVID. We ask the healing power from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Father God, we just pray for those healthcare workers that are helping all those who are sick currently, all the caregivers, Father God. We ask that you be with those, our leaders. We pray for those near and far, federal, state, and our local governments, Father God. We ask that you be with everyone, dear God, that we may be strong in you continue to allow us to study your word and get strong in faith father God we ask that you be with our preacher on today our presiding elder give him a word that will give us a new set of fire to go on for another 154 years we ask all of these things father God that when we come to the end that you'll give us the home that we've been asking and seeking for in your kingdom we ask all of these things in your son Jesus name we pray amen Good morning, I will be reading Psalms 100, 1 through 5. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his posture. Enter the gates with thanksgiving, and into the courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord, he is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth all, to all generations. I have just read Psalms 100, 1 through 5. Good morning. I will be reading Psalms 127, verse 1. Accept the Lord, build the house, they labor in vain that build it. So I just read Psalms 127, verse 1. Happy anniversary, Grand St. James, and I am standing on a strong foundation. Let it rise. 
Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. We give thanks to our Heavenly Father and Savior Jesus Christ, 154 years of praising, worshiping, glorifying, and serving in these houses of worship. And as we celebrate our 154th church anniversary, we pause to give honor the rich legacy and service of all members who have transitioned. May love and memories remain in our hearts. Memories build a special bridge. Uh, memories build a special bridge when loved ones have to part to help us feel we're with them still and soothe a grieving heart. Uh, memories span the years we've shared, preserving ties that bind. They build a special bridge of love and bring us peace of mind. Happy 154th anniversary, Greater St. James. second and fourth chapter of the Philippians, Paul writes and talks about an assistant he calls Epaphroditus, one that assists the people in the ministry to, but also assists him. It's almost like a liaison between the people of the community and the pastor. And so Paul talks about Epaphroditus, how he has blessed him in his work. And it makes me think about the one we are honoring also today. Reverend Virginia Peace, who assists seven pastors on this journey. On her journey for over 20 years, she has been assisting these pastors and has been blessing the community and blessing this church. And we thank God for her. Paul, Paul says this, Paul says this. He writes this about it. He says, he says, now that I have received from Epaphroditus the gifts from you, it's like a sweet smelling aroma. And he says, now that I can account it to your credit, to your account, and so we thank God this day 
that we have something to put on her account, the way she's blessed this community and has blessed this church and blessed the pastor that has come this way. We thank God for Reverend Virginia Peace. Greetings and salutations. Good morning. We are so thankful to honor Reverend Virginia Peace um, on our 154th church anniversary. You are a part of this church's history. You are an amazing woman who's fully committed yeah. to God. You've served on so many auxiliaries. You've touched so many lives. And we want to honor you on this morning. So we did a song that you wrote. And we hope that you all enjoy. Please don't be mad. Please don't be mad at us. Um, I know you sent it to me, but um, ho hopefully you guys enjoy this. My mom wrote a song, and uh, hopefully you enjoy. We've been rocking with you, mama, since the day we were born. True, true, true. Love you, and St. James, happy 154th church anniversary. Thank you for loving me the way you do.
It is my happy privilege to introduce a man that I've known for almost 30 years. One that I have seen walk like Micah 6 and 8 says. Walk justly, humbly, and seek mercy. I, I have seen him on the city council seek justice and mercy for those. But as he has risen in the body of Christ, I have still seen him stay humble. Humility is something that is becoming lost even in the body of Christ. And we thank God for his leadership. We thank God for his wonderful wife, our area supervisor, Sister Baba Parrott. How those two have come to the Charleston district and have led us in a godly way. And we thank God for them. And so, after the selection of the choir, the next voice you will hear is that of our presiding elder, the Reverend Dr. Alan Wayne Parrott. Hear him.
this opportunity to say thank you to Pastor Archie Fair and to Sister Fair, to my wife Barbara, and the officers and members of Greater St. James African Methodist Episcopal Church as you celebrate 154 years of service. Praise be unto God. I'm thankful for this opportunity to share with you and to be a part of this historic church anniversary. I want to call your attention to the New Testament, Hebrews, the 12th chapter, verses 1 and 2. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. I want to share on this anniversary occasion from the theme, the challenge to go forward, the challenge to go forward. This day, we have gathered to celebrate the founding of this place called Greater St. James African Methodist Episcopal Church. To God be the glory, for truly it is God who has blessed, sustained, and kept you as a congregation of witness and praise for lo these many years. As we celebrate Greater St. James' birth as a body of Christ, this celebration is marked in the shadow of a worldwide pandemic that has claimed 160,000 lives in the United States alone. We face social upheaval because of systemic racism in America that debilitates people of color. But we come to give God praise today to declare that I will and that we will run on. We've gathered in worship this day, this anniversary observance, not to rejoice in previous accomplishments, but to begin to pray for vision, focus, and witness for tomorrow. Make no mistake, we are celebrating the founding mothers and fathers of Greater St. James Church, those who bore the burden in the heat of the day, through God's anointing Holy Spirit. Their dreams, their vision has become our reality. But the more relevant focus or question for us today is, what are our dreams? What are our visions for unborn generations that will find their way to Greater St. James? What will be the ongoing commitment of Greater St. James to this community? In the midst of a global pandemic, social upheaval and economic downturn. People need to hear a word from the Lord. They need to know that God is indeed a very present help in time of trouble. The book of Hebrews, believed written by Paul, the apostle, says one writer is among the least read, least studied, and least preached books of the New Testament. It is believed to have been written somewhere between 60 AD and 95 AD. It focuses on the priestly work of Jesus Christ. And one of the key issues confronting this new congregation was getting them to move away from their former practices, their normal, normal regular ways of doing things, particularly their religious beliefs. This Hebrew congregation was made up of Jewish converts. For example, the high priest offered sacrifices on the altar as a part of their faith practice. But now Jesus comes not to offer a sacrifice, but to be the living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. And so in these COVID times, we are reminded that we don't do things the way we've done them in the past. And all of the things that we were accustomed to doing, we've had to change our way. But in the midst of all the change, God has remained a very present help. In the 12th chapter, Hebrews challenges us to be faithful to Christ, no matter what the cost. Whether it be a critical illness, a family upheaval, worldwide pandemic, be faithful to Christ. And God is calling greater St. James today to continue to be faithful to Christ, to be faithful to your call, to be faithful to your vow before him, to be assured that as we walk this pilgrim way, Christ is fully sufficient 
to meet all of our needs. And through him, we have access to God in prayers and worship. And we have a fellowship of mutual encouragement with others who are marching to Zion. In other words, you're not in this by yourself. That God has provided a way out for us in every situation. And as we, we come in the midst of all that's going on around us, one thing we need to be assured of if we keep our hand in God's hand, I know that God will make a way out of no way, that God will sustain you, that if you make one step, I declare that God will make two. And so we got to keep pressing on. So now, when those moments of despondency come, and they will, when those times of depression come, and they will, you must look to the hills from which cometh our help and know that our help comes from the Lord. God has brought us, greater St. James, to this place today, at this moment, at this hour, on this appointed day, not only in celebration, but also to challenge us anew, to put aside every weight that so easily besets us and run the race that God has put before me and that God has put before you. Look where he brought you, this body of Christ called St. James. Look how he liberated you and look how he's kept you and never left you. And so we stand today 154 years on the word of God, knowing that God can do anything but fail. You are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. Those that have gone on, those that bore the burden in the heat of the day that gave us a St. James. And they are urging us to greater service in ministry. Now, a witness is one who has seen or experienced firsthand an event or action. Someone under the sound of my voice today has a testimony. You already know what God can do. For as the hymn writer says, one day I was sinking deep in sin. For from the peaceful shore very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. From the waters lifted me, now safe am I. We've got to encourage one another. We've got to push one another. We've got to challenge one another to trust in the Lord and lean not into your own understanding and know that God will lay aside every fear Every worry, every doubt, every inhibition, every concern, every criticism, every backbite, every backstabbing, every ditch dug, every lie told, and work the works of him who sent you while it is day. And know that God will sustain you, that God will provide for you, that God will make a way for you. Just as he opened the way for God's people called St. James 154 years ago, God will bring you through and God will sustain you. Don't worry about a pandemic. Don't worry about social unrest. But keep your hand in God's hand and know that God will provide for you and that God will make a way, that God will sustain you. I've got a testimony this morning, St. James. I've seen the lightning flashing. I've heard the thunder roll. I've seen sin breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul. But I heard the voice of Jesus say, fight on. He promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. Greater St. James, you've been running this race for 154 years. Keep on running. Keep on telling the glad story of Jesus and his love. Keep on proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord. And I declare that God will keep on pouring his blessings out upon you. The challenge to go forward. Trust in the Lord. And he will bring you through. God bless you and God keep you is my prayer. Amen. We thank God for the message and we thank God for the messenger. We thank God for Elder Parrot and the message that he brought to encourage us along the way. And for those this day who do not know Jesus Christ in the pardon of your sins, 
I say to you, come now and give your life to Jesus. Just open your heart unto him and say, 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 Lord, I, I know I'm a sinner. I know I have sinned against you. Come into my heart and save me. And he will surely do it. And receive him as Lord and Savior. And for those who may not have a church home, we offer Greater St. James African Methodist Episcopal Church. Or surely we're, we're not a perfect church, but we're striving for perfection. And so if there be one this day that said, I want to be a part of this body of Christ, we would ask that you come and grow with us. And we thank God for those who've already made that decision, that they want to be a part of this church. And I long for the day that I can shake your hand here at our chancellor realm. And we thank God for those who have given on to this church. And especially for this opportunity, this 154 years, we thank God for those who have given up this substance. And we especially thank those who have given that wasn't even part of, of, a part of this body of Christ. So we thank you. Bless you. Let us pray. Our Lord and our God, we thank you, Father God, for the offering that was given on today. Thank you, Father God, that you will pour them out of blessing. For you said in your word that if we give unto the storehouse, that you would heist up the windows of heaven and pour us out of blessing. And we are standing under the window thanking you, Father God, for all that you've done for us. We bless you now. Bless those who gave. Bless their homes. Bless them in their coming and bless them in their going. We thank you now. It is in Jesus' name in which we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Again, we thank God for our presiding elder for the wonderful message that he gave today. And as he comes now to dismiss us in his very own way, bless you. Thank you again for being a part of 154 years of worshiping God in this place. Amen. Let us now look to the Lord. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet communion and fellowship of his Holy Spirit, Rest, rule, and abide with you now and forever. Amen. We have a very special treat for you all this morning. For the Bible lets us know that laughter is a medicine. It does good for our bodies and our souls. And, and, and I don't know about you, but I, I love to be around Christians who can smile every now and then. How can you worship and serve a God that you say you have gives you joy and, and you don't smile? And so just in case you had not smiled all day long, we've got Sister Lottie here this morning to help put a little smile on your face, put a little joy in you. And just in case your knees were feeling bad or your back, it is amazing what laughter can do just for a moment, ease your pains. And so with no further ado, Sister Lottie is on the scene. If I had your people in here, I would tell them to put their hand together. Hey! But you know what? We always got the law. Hey! You know I don't mind dancing right by myself. Yeah! Let me back that thing up. Yeah. You didn't see me do that in a while, eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me back it up just one more time. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! All right. Oh yeah. My everything. Thank you, sugar. 
Hallelujah. How many of you know God is your everything? Mm-hmm. I know for sure. Well, some of you I done meat before. The rest of you I ain't never seed before. But now if I was to take this mass off, but let me check. Ain't nobody six foot dead, six foot. Nope. I'm going to take this mask off. Ain't nobody six foot round me. Mm-hmm. I hope. You know, got you on a mask is on. Mm-hmm. I'm 88 years old. For some of you, why I never see it before, my name is Sister Lottie. And I never thought in my 88 years of living I'd have to put on something to cover up my pretty face everywhere I go into something we into. Whoo, Jesus. But the Lord know all about it. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to stay long. They call me up and say, Sister Lottie, what are you doing? I say, well, I'm in my house where I ought to be. Where you at? Would you come by St. James? And wish to judge 154 years of happiness and anniversary. Would you stop by and wish them a happy anniversary? I said, why show? Who could be there? They say, nobody but you. I said, nobody but me. Surely God could be there. He been there for 154 years. So I said, yeah, yes, I'll come. I'll stop by and say a word. All I'm going to leave with you is this. Proverbs 17, 22. Say, a merry heart do good like a medicine, but a broken spirit will dry up the bone. So I'm going to tell you now. Whoo, it's hot. The air condition must be broke. Oh, I, oh they turned it off because they had to pay the bill in about five or six months. More six months now, you know. Ain't nobody been in this church. And y'all smell kind of moly too. But you know, if the door stays shut, it could get more moly. So you better get on one accord and start praying and asking God to fix this thing. Wear your mask so we can get back in the house of God and worship him like we ought to. And I know one thing. When us get back in here, we could do the right thing. Because I believe the door shut for a reason. Now, let me let that loan. Somebody say, let that loan, Sister Lottie. Let that loan. But you got to get yourself right with God. And do it when? Now. Let me tell you on something. I ain't my house, and you know all I do is see the news. You ain't in your house. You ain't see the same thing. Well, look like almost 170,000 Americans done pass away. From this corona, this carnivorous, this Pandora, or whatever going on out here. In the words of that man will say, what's going on? But I will tell you this. Get right with God and do it now. But Jenna, don't let this thing worry you to death. You get up and thank the Lord every day you wake up. Continue to pray, and he'll show we the way. But the first thing the people done tell you a long time ago, say, wear your mask. Some of you are still out there with no mask. Stay in your house as much as you can. Keep your hands clean. Well, the Bible been tell you a clean heart and pure hands. Oh, I got that mixed up. We rab at rab. He say a clean heart and a pure hand of a pure hand and clean heart. One out of the two. But what he say he mean is your hand need to be clean. So your bench should have been clean in your hand. And maybe that corona wouldn't have get on you. All right. Well, y'all, I'm going to go on now. But I want to tell this church, you've done a good job taking care of people in this neighborhood and wrong the church. Uh, uh, what are the presiding elder? You in the house some way, some way around y'all. You ain't near me, though. You ain't six foot near me. Ain't nobody near me. Look, 
Not a soul near me. I mean, you are safe in the house of God by myself. Jesus and me. So now, if you don't know him, get to know him. Pray without ceasing. And I'm going to leave you with this. Three things you must learn to do. The three L's. You must love, laugh, and live every day like it's your last day. Sugar, even one sugar, sugar, way back yonder. If you don't give me a little music, I'll get on out of here. God bless you, St. James. Happy 154th anniversary. Thank you for letting me come here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to dance while I'm in here because I don't know how long I'm going to be in here and when I'm going to get to come back. Oh, I love you. Oh, St. James. All right, y'all give the Lord a praise. Hey, thank you, sir. Woo, let me back that tang up. Oh, yeah, just because I can. Mm. Thank you for joining us today. We certainly hope you enjoyed this worship experience. We hope to see you next Sunday. May the Lord God continue to bless you real good. Greetings and just knowing the joy of Jesus. Folk have been asking, how do I give to Greater St. James in this time of transition? Well, there are, there are three different ways. The first way that you can give is electronically. When you go on our, our website, when you go on our Facebook page, you'll be able to see how you can give. You can take your electronic advices and give that way. Secondly, there is an address that you will find on our Facebook page. You can mail your offering in and we'll thank God for you. But third, between the hours of 10 and 12 on Sunday morning, there'll be someone here to receive your offering. You just drive up under the canopy and someone will come out and there'll be security here to make sure your offering is secure and that you are secure. They'll come out and take your offering and you can drive right on. We thank you for whatever you give unto God. We thank you for how you bless this church and we pray that God continue to bless you. We thank you now. Be blessed and we look for you soon. Amen.